Well, how do there, chums? Right, well, I've got a bit of news for you. We've just had an emoji drop from Sean of the Murrays, and it's an anchor. An anchor of all things, people. Got myself a little cup of tea, but put your grey matter to work. Let's see if you can think of things that this emoji might mean. And I'm going to tell you what I thought about as soon as I saw this. So the first thing that came to mind was probably the most obvious. Well, it's got to be nautical themed. Maybe we're going to get deeper oceans. Maybe it's going to be abyss 2.0. Maybe we're going to get a fret inside of the ocean, better water textures, shaders, and all that sort of shenanigans. Maybe we might get to see the odd waterfall or river on planet. Was the first thing I thought about, people. The second notion I had is what if it's to do with the new pirate-esque dreadnoughts that we have? What if it's to do with maybe an expedition where you start as a pirate on one of these dreadnaughty type freighters and by the end of it you've got all bells and whistles and you've got a lovely freighter to traverse the skies in? It could just be some sort of outlaw boast expedition and maybe link on to the voice of freedom was what I was thinking as well. Then I thought to myself, well, what about the life rafts of the Echoes? So inside of the latest trailer, where we first see the Starborn Runner take off and fly on out of a station. If you slow it right down outside of the mouth of the station in what I can only presume to be normal space, is one of these Echo life rafts. What if they're now tethered and anchored to our own system inside of No Man's Sky? What if it's to do with the lore and closing off of the last part of the ARG arc that got started with you know, Singularity and all that sort of shenanigans, Interceptor and Echoes. Now something that you know sailors use is what's called a load star. It's like a star in the sky that they set as a beacon, an anchor point in the sky if you will, and they set course for that. Almost like the free wise kings or whatever when they're trying to locate the birthplace of Jesus. Yes, so that was a, a guiding star, a load star. So what if it's just namesake? Maybe the update is just gonna be called load star or something similar, you know? It could just be a namesake at the end of the day, people. Anyways, I did a poll with all these sorts of ideas and I put them up on my community tab. So I put the, I put the poll up on screen and hopefully make it a bit transparent so you can see me through it in a scary mime type way while I drink a little bit of tea. So the poll itself, it hasn't been going for too long, so there's not a great deal of answers as to what this might be or what you guys think it might be. And we haven't got too many comments as yet. I might do a follow-up episode. It depends how quickly Hello Games managed to drop this update into the verse. So I was thinking with the sales being on all platforms apart from PSN and PlayStation having quite a sort of you know, small window for launch, usually a Wednesday or Thursday, today being a Wednesday, I didn't think Hello Games would be able to get it out this week. I thought because the sale on Xbox lasted for seven days, we were more likely to see it next week, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday of next week, midweek as an update. Mainly because Hello Games don't like to put something out on a Friday, meaning that if there are any bugs or any problems, they might be working the weekend to fix them and write them. But you know what? If it is just an expedition, like I was saying about maybe the Pirate Freighter, Dreadnought class, or whatever, maybe it could get put out on a Friday. You know, we've got that new console to fire it up with as well. I'm hoping that there's an expedition with this update, people. I do like a good expedition, I honestly do. So apart from those ideas, is there anything else that I think it could be? I was thinking, have we already built an anchor inside of game? I mean, if you go inside the Nexus and you go up by Tephus, a Tepa, <laughs> up inside of a Spatial Anomaly, we've built an autophage, the four-legged guy that I call Mountain Spider. Now, we've already anchored him here in this realm, and we've put an echo inside of him to give him consciousness. And all he does is bangs on about echoes. Well, what if we've got to get him more echoes, more anchors, and bring him into the verse fully? Or to help him realize things from the past into our reality, perhaps some sort of loot grind. I mean, if he wasn't important, Hello Games wouldn't have put in a teleporter to help us get him quicker from the lower level. 
So I kind of think that he might be playing a part inside of whatever we're doing and might be kind of some sort of anchor point for us to go to and run quests from. I mean, uh, yeah, I think that idea is a little bit reaching. It's a little bit clutching at straws, that one. But, you know, when we've had emojis like the orange for Origins and we've had a snowflake and it was just namesake for Fractal, who freaking knows at the end of the day? This is why I like the emoji because it gets us speculating. It gets our minds in gear as to what this emoji could mean. And sometimes I've, I've been pretty close and sometimes I've been miles away. But you know what? I do love speculation. Either way! So anyways, Thank people, you. I'm going to give my poll over on my community tab a little bit more time to actually grow in number of votes and also comments that have been gained on there. I'm not sure whether we're going to see an update drop this week for the reasons that I suggested, but at the same time, you know, Hello Games hasn't put out anything super massive for a while. And let's face it, an anchor is a super massive freaking object, isn't it? It weighs a freaking ton. By nature, it's bloody big. And Hello Games did say this was going to be a big year. Well, at least Sean Murray did at the actual you know, last Game Awards. Let's have a little quick reminder of that, shall we, people? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it. And this is something that Hello Games could have been working on for some time. It could be a larger update than what I was expecting or anticipating. I mean, I don't really want to go and set my expectations too high, but at the same time, to see this anchor emoji has got me excited. But then again, it could have been any emoji and I'd get excited. I'm like a kid at freaking Christmas when I see one of these emojis drop. It's like hearing freaking sleigh bells to me. It really is. And um, yeah, I'm halfway through my cup of tea. Now, I have done this in sections, this video. I did do it in one take, but my camera froze halfway through. I don't know what's going on with the dang thing. But for whatever reason, it just keeps pausing whenever it feels like it. So you may have noticed, I keep looking over at my screen over there to work out whether it's still blinking working. It has got a little blue light that I've just noticed. <laughs> and if that goes off, I guess it's stopped, hasn't it? That would be a bit easier. But you always notice these things after you've freaking done something. Anyway, people inside the view of us, hopefully you're excited for this um, uh, update or expedition or whatever it's going to be. I mean, No Man's Sky is my go-to game. I love No Man's Sky. I'm <laughs> Yeah, I try to hit up other games, but they just haven't got the same allure. It's the fact that it's procedurally generated and it's a whole universe. It's got so much possibility. And I know that Hello Games wants to untap everything that can be delivered by their engine and by their team when it comes to art or setting boundaries or pushing boundaries. So I'm always excited to see what they come up with. Let's hope it's a good one, I guess. Tell you what, that's a good cup of tea. That's a Captain's Brew. The 07 Brew, you can get it on cherizina.co.uk. I guess. Until next time, people, anyway. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. I like my tea. An English breakfast tea. But it's not just any brew. It's the Captain's 07 Brew. What? Brew? Captain Steve's 07 Brew. It's a breakfast tea with no keynotes All seven, your boat This tea is the best Better than the rest Go buy some, heck by loads It's the best tea ever